Welcome to Board Game Unanimous. My name is Hold Eli. on, you gotta you gotta say it slow so that way people can understand you. Okay. Welcome to Board Game Bananas. No, that's way too fast. Way too fast. Welcome to Board Game Bananas. Welcome to No, board you gotta wait till I turn my head so that way I'm looking at the camera and smiling. <laughs> Alright. Welcome to Board Game Bananas. You gotta have your hand down from your face. That way they can okay, actually... you're doing it. You're doing it. No, no, no. You do it. You do it. Welcome to Board Game Bananas. My name's Eli. My name is Dad. And today we're going to be playing... Jetpack Joyride! I don't know about you, but Jetpack Joyride was one of the funnest games that I ever played whenever it came out on the iPhone. Did you ever play Jetpack Joyride? Yes, it was really fun. Yeah? Was it your favorite game ever? Not really. Roblox is. Roblox is your favorite game? Maybe you have to do a review on Roblox. It's not a board game. Oh, this is true. So the way that you play Jetpack Joyride, the board game is kind of similar to the phone game, but a lot different at the same time. So you will take four of these cards. Each of the players will place four in front of them, just like this. And then whenever you say go, you're going to take each take turns. Well, not really take turns. Everybody does it at the same time. You're going to be grabbing these pieces from the middle of the table, and you're going to be putting them down trying not to cover any of the fireballs or the lights, and you're going to try to cross as many coins as possible. For every coin you get, you get one point. The first person who finishes means that everybody has to be done, and it's just a mad race. It's kind of like Galaxy Trucker. No, no, you never played Galaxy Trucker. We'll have no. to play that and do a review. We have it upstairs. But it's kind of like Galaxy Trucker where you're doing it, putting pieces down as quickly as possible. Now, there are other win conditions, so uh, ways to get points. So, for example, this one says high five, near miss, three scientists. And if you want, for each game, you can draw three of these and have these out. And if you complete any of these missions while you're racing to put down all your pieces down across the board, then you can get extra stars. In this case, you can get four points in addition to the points that you gain from getting the coins whenever you're going on your little trek. So, that's how you play. Did you want to add anything? Uh, the Don't forget the pieces have to be touching whenever you play them. They do have to be touching. And also, the first piece that you place down, the end of it has to be hanging off the edge. And whenever you put the last piece down, the end of it has to be hanging off the end of the edge of the last piece. We are not going to do a playthrough of this one because we're just going to go straight to what we thought about the game. Eli, what did you think about the game Jetpack Joyride, the board game? Well, Dad, um, it was very challenging and you beat me the whole time. And, well, it's just really complex. I don't like it. You don't like it at all? No. So this is not Board Game Bananas approved? No. So I, as well, was not a huge fan. Whenever you're putting your pieces down, it's hard to get them lined up. And whenever you're going really fast, oftentimes your, your pieces will jostle. And so you're not sure where you had a piece. And by the time you get to the third frame, there's a piece that's messed up in the first frame. Also, crossing the obstacles. So some of these are super easy to see, like these little fireballs. But these little ones here sometimes can be difficult. And in the heat of the moment, whenever you're putting your little pieces down, you can mistake this for a coin, and then you cross over it, and then you come back at the end, and you're like, oh, man, I didn't know that that was a coin. I'm not a fan either. I think that it's an interesting concept, and I think... If two things could be done to this game, then it would be interesting. And number one is if, obviously, it would increase the cost. But if these could have ways where they could actually click down into the game board. So if they had raised pieces or if this was sticky in some way, where when you put it down, why are you laughing? I don't know. Why would they be sticky? <laughs> your hands down. They can't see your face. So if you, if you put the piece down and it stayed, or if it clicked in, that would be one thing. Second thing that would be cool is if the obstacles were raised just a little bit, 
That way <clears throat> you knew whether or not you're going to hit an obstacle. Suggestion number three is if you could put down the actual coins and pick them up. That obviously would mean that this little card would have to be at least twice as big in order to have the game pieces. But you could have little coins and as you put your piece down, you could pick up the coin and then that would be one point. To me, those three things would make the game a lot more exciting. But as it is, we're going to have to say, nah. So this game is not Board Game Bananas approved. Watch us for more reviews. Until then, we'll see you next video. Adios, amigo. Or amiga. <laughs>